in progress. Welcome to the next episode in the Understanding Crypto series. This is a book review by Thomas Plunkett on the book Mastering the Lightning Network uh, that was written by the author team of Andreas Antonopoulos, Alala Asantakim, and Renee Bickhart. So just a disclaimer, um, this video is not investment advice or legal advice, and all errors are uh, responsibility of the author. Um, so this is um, a book that is coming out um, in the next couple months. Um, this is, uh, it's currently available in early release, and you can also view it on GitHub, um, but it's Mastering the Lightning Network, uh, essentially a second layer uh, protocol for uh, instant Bitcoin payments. Uh, this is a great book. The Lightning Network has been around um, since a white paper was released in 2015, and the network itself launched in 2018, but there haven't been a lot of really good books describing the Lightning Network. And so this book is probably the most significantly detailed book on the Lightning Network. It's a great explanation of Lightning, both for users as well as for programmers. So it explains how to use Lightning Wallet, payment channels, and routing payments from a user perspective, similar to how the Mastering Bitcoin book explained how to use Bitcoin wallets. Uh, it also explains how to run your own Lightning node and how to write your own programs to interact with the Lightning Network, just as the Mastering Bitcoin book uh, explained how to write programs interacting with the Bitcoin protocol and how to run your own Bitcoin node to participate in the Bitcoin network. So I really like this book. Um, really, uh, and it really flows well as a sequel to the Mastering Bitcoin book. Um, now, I do recommend that you understand Bitcoin before diving into trying to understand the Lightning Network, because many of the concepts in the Lightning Network are advanced concepts for Bitcoin. So if you don't understand the basics of Bitcoin, um, you may get confused at times. So uh, let's go take a look at some of the materials in the book. So I will uh, stop sharing the slides and I'll go take a look at the GitHub site. So the GitHub site, um, again, this book's about to come out. Um, you can see it's, the book is in two parts. The first part is a high level overview of Lightning um, the basics of Lightning, the basics of running a, a client and operating a node. Um, and then the second part uh, dives into the more details on the Lightning's architecture, how the payment channels work, how the hash time locks work and routing and channel operation. Also dives in the Onion protocol and payment pathfinding and the wire protocol. And then finally closes out with a discussion on security and encrypted message transport and payment requests. Uh, one of the interesting aspects of Lightning is that unlike Bitcoin, which actually doesn't have any encryption in it at all, Lightning um, does have quite a bit of encryption in it. Um, and so, um, and there's a variety of reasons to do that. Basically, uh, the people who created Lightning um, were focused on other, you know, concepts than the people who created Bitcoin were. And so they chose to draw the line slightly differently in terms of where they would want it to be in terms of security and privacy. Uh, but again, security and privacy are really important for all cryptocurrencies and every cryptocurrency approaches it a little bit differently. Uh, but again, this is a great layer two protocol to make Bitcoin transactions faster and more efficient. Um, not gonna go through the details of these chapters, uh, but this is a pretty well uh, laid out book, uh, diving into all the details you need to really understand uh, the basics of Lightning, both from a user perspective as well from a programmer perspective. So let's go back to the slides for a second. Again, um, I highly recommend this uh, book, Mastering the Lightning Network for, uh, by Andreas, Alala, and Renee for anyone who's interested in diving deeper into Lightning. Thanks for watching this video.